are in a dive. I have no control on my side. We're going to hell? Everybody in brace positions. Dump the flash, dump the flash. We're still fast. Just do it, do it, 30 degrees. Nothing, no control. No, stay strapped in, stay strapped in. The plane crash involved a lot of logistics, a lot of special effects, a lot of stunt people. We used these simulators, you know, and actually did takeoffs and, and you know, tried to fly in the simulator. We built the entire plane cabin on a gimbal, the cockpit on a gimbal. It was on vibrators and shakers, and it was a very complicated scene. 30,000 pounds, roughly, we're going to turn upside down. Uh, some of it human, some of it just in steel and weight. It's steel and welding and hardware and a lot of construction and a lot of elements that have to come together on stage. We're shooting it in two sections, the back half and then the front half, and then we're digitally seaming them together. Most of the experience is the experience on the plane, and it's pretty frightening. You know, hanging about 50 people upside down is uh, time-consuming and uh, scary to do. We're gonna roll it. What, okay. what do you mean, roll it? Ready? Here we go. Denzel, he doesn't want to have someone else in there doing his stunts, and, and that's great, because you want to see your actor do as much as possible. I mean, everything that's flying around, we're really upside down. That was really a scene that had to be put together with Bob. When you see that scene, you go, wow, this is really something else. We used previs, so we knew where to put the cameras, what we were looking for, and we did things, camera tricks and things that made it look exciting. Bob, full power. People love being inside that plane crash, and after it's done, you don't feel exhausted, you feel exhilarated. We lost the power! I'm amazed at what Bob Zemeckis was able to do. Brace. Brace for impact. 